storage development projects around the corner. This building is a perfect example of that. Leon building, probably Leon owned building. by a fam the Leon family. Um, this has been like this for like 15 years. The guy's basically just sitting on it. And it's pretty valuable. Um, but the city has done a lot to try to engage them and bring, bring them to the table. I think they're like at the sun right now. Um, so um, yeah, so um, we did we did a workshop here actually a few months ago with Project for Public Spaces. I don't know if people have heard of it, but this is That's a pretty a great resource to check out the website if people have encountered, encountered them before. Yeah. Great group. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean if you if you this is sort of the end of our business district. So if you if you notice, we're kind of away from businesses. It's kind of a dead space. You know, the Croc Center's there, but you know, the businesses don't really get busy until over there. So this space, particularly when you have this beautiful um, this, you know, pocket park, you have this big, big vacant building, a vacant parcel of land, has a lot of opportunity. Um, so, uh, you know, we've talked about temporary, permanent solutions, um, you know, ways to make it more inviting, you know, building better connections with the Croc Center, the commuter rail, the business district. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, a lot of these issues with the, with the building are kind of above my pay grade, so it's, you know, it's sort of being done at the city level, so. Um, but it's uh, yeah, yeah. So kind of our, our district ends at the bridge or the Croc Center. Um, this, is a, this is a endeavor by a woman that lives on the street actually um, to, to advocate for a park here. They she actually maintains it privately. Obviously, um, not a lot of activity that goes on here. But it, as you can see, it's beautiful. Um, that street right there is beautiful. Um, and you have an opportunity to do something a lot with this, you know, big time with this building too, particularly because it's right near the commuter rail station. So, um, it's again with this planning initiative, the city is really uh, taking the on it, and, um, but it's it's certainly a, a you know a, a really determine the future of this neighborhood. So, um, so yeah. So. Is it zone residential, mixed use, commercial? I think it's great question. It's commercial, commercial. Are you sure you're not in the planning program? <laughs> I'm a planning wannabe. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then you have there's a vacant parcel of land right there as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's much less foot traffic here, right? I mean, it's kind of a dead No, not one year. It's not a city park, actually. Uh, so who, who administers the park? It's a, it's, it's a woman that, that locks it and unlocks it. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah, there's just a good story with that, too. Um, so who, who actually... Uh, yeah, paid for it and it, it actually... Well, it, it, they advocated for the improvements, like the city, I'm pretty sure, you know, invested the money in terms of... It's like of, a privately owned public space. Yeah, yeah. essentially, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, so you can access it during the day, but... Um, I mean, there's you nobody can, in there. There's no one in there. I mean, you can see there's like 30 rules. Or, um, but, uh, yeah, it, it, you can certainly go there during the day, but there's not much activities that go on there. So, um, so yeah, so I can lead you guys. The next stop is at the Croc Center, right, Jason? Great, cool. yeah.